Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a full body yoga workout and all you will need is yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's start today's class in a cross-legged position, sitting up tall. Rest your fingertips out by your sides and then carefully drop your left ear down to your left shoulder as you wiggle your right fingertips away from you, feeling a beautiful stretch through the right side of your neck. Close your eyes if that feels good for you. And then carefully switch side. Drop your right ear down to your right shoulder as you wiggle your left fingertips away from you. Then carefully lift your head back through center. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the left. On your next inhale, turn your chest up towards the sky, open through your heart, and exhale, turn your chest down towards the floor. Inhale, return through center, and come back up. Other side, inhale, left arm reaches up, exhale, side bend over to your right. Then turn your chest up to the sky, inhale, Exhale, turn your chest down to the floor. Inhale, return through center and exhale, come back up. Let's come on to our hands and our knees now. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. On your inhale, arch your spine, roll your shoulders back. Then exhale round and gaze towards your navel. One more. Inhale, arch, broaden through your collarbones. Exhale as you round. Return through center, tuck your toes under and carefully press back into your first downward facing dog. Keeping a soft bend through your knees for this first down dog, really push the floor away from you, lengthening through your spine. Then start to pedal your heels, alternate bending one knee at a time. As you press one heel down towards the mat, press the opposite hand away from you into the floor. Beautiful, then if you can, draw both heels down towards the mat as you press evenly through both hands. Take one more deep breath in and deep breath out. Then inhale, ripple your spine forward, coming into your high plank, shoulders over wrists. Really draw your navel in and drop your ribs down to your hips to engage your core. One deep breath in and deep breath out. Good job, inhale, set your knees down, uncurl your toes, and exhale, lower yourself down onto your belly. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, coming into your cobra, really opening through your heart, broadening through your collarbones. One more inhale, and then exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale, press yourself up, curl your toes under, and exhale, press back to down dog. Draw your heels down towards the floor, but focusing on lengthening through your spine. So if you need to bend your knees to keep your spine straight, please do. Then look up in between your hands and carefully tiptoe your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, nice straight spine, bringing your hands to your shins if you need to, and exhale, fold. Roll up to standing, vertebra by vertebra, reach your arms up, inhale, exhale, forward fold, diving over your legs. Halfway lift, inhale, 
Exhale, step back into your high plank. Hold on your inhale, engage through your core. Then exhale, press back to down dog. Take one deep breath here, really lengthening through your spine. Then on your next inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Really squeeze your right heel in towards your glute as you try to lift your right knee a little higher. Take one more inhale. Then on your exhale, shift forward to plank, pull your right knee to your right tricep. Inhale, press back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward, this time right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Last one, exhale, pull your knee nice and high up to your chest and then step your right foot forward. Inhale, lift up into your crescent lunge, keeping a soft bend through your back knee, tucking your pelvis under, and then straightening your back leg to feel a nice stretch. Bend into your right knee. Then inhale, open through your heart. Exhale, hands come down to the floor and step back into your high plank. Inhale, lower your knees, untuck your toes. Exhale, lower yourself down to the mat. Inhale, press up into Cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, press up and exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, left leg extends on your inhale, then bend your knee and open your hip on your exhale. Really squeeze your left heel into your glute as you draw your left knee up to the sky. Let's take a nice inhale to prepare, then exhale, shift forward to plank, pull left knee to left elbow. Inhale, press back, open your hip. Exhale, shift forward, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, press back. Last one. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest and step your foot forward. Inhale, come up into your crescent lunge, bending your back knee at first to find that nice neutral hip position, and then extend your legs straight, bending into your left knee. Take one more big inhale, expand through your heart, then exhale, hands come down to the floor, step back, and bend your elbows into your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, inhale open through your chest, Downward facing dog, exhale. Beautiful job. Let's take one nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Then look forward, tiptoe your feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, nice straight spine. Fold, exhale. Roll up to standing, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, lower your hands at your heart. This time, bend your knees, sit your hips low, inhale, chair pose, exhale, bow over your legs. Halfway lift, inhale, roll your shoulders back, exhale, step back into your high plank. Hold here on your inhale, engaging through your core, then exhale, press back to down dog. Straight away, let's lift our right leg up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands. Lift up into your crescent lunge. Inhale, lengthening through your waist. Exhale, open into warrior two. Really bend into your right knee, gazing over your right fingertips, focusing on your breath. Let's work the legs now. So straighten your right leg and take your hands behind your head. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, return through center. And exhale, straighten your leg. So you bend your right knee, crunch through the side of your waist, come back through center and straighten your leg. Three more like this. Really trying to bring your right elbow down to your right knee, working into the side of our waist and our abs. Just one more. 
Well done. Rebend your right knee, make sure it's in line with your ankle. Crunch halfway over to the side and reach your arms by your ears. Turn your chest up to the sky and let's pulse into our leg 10 times. You've got it. Just eight more. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your knee bent, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm over. Exhale, bend a little deeper into your right knee. Then inhale, straighten your right leg and exhale, come back up. Reach forward on your inhale, then exhale, come into your triangle pose, bringing your right hand to your shin, to your foot or to the floor, taking your gaze up to your fingertips. Really lift up through the side of your waist here, pressing down evenly through all four corners of your feet, engaging your leg muscles. Take one more deep inhale, and then exhale, bring your hands to the floor and step back into your Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Okay, other side. Lift your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands. Lift up into your crescent lunge, inhale. And open out to warrior two, exhale. Really bend into your left knee, gaze over your fingertips, feeling nice and strong here. Then straighten your left leg and bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, bend your left knee, exhale, crunch to the side, inhale, center, and exhale, press up. Four more, you bend, bring left elbow to left knee, return through center, and straighten your left leg. Three more. Really working our legs and our obliques here. Last one. Well done. Rebend your left knee, crunch over to the side just halfway, and reach your arms by your ears. Turn your chest up to the sky and take little pulses for 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, you can do it, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold your knee bent, reverse warrior, inhale, stretch your left arm over, exhale, bend deeper into your left knee, then inhale, straighten your front leg, reverse triangle, Exhale, come back up. Inhale, stretch forward. And exhale, release down into your triangle pose. Reaching your right arm up to the sky. Taking your gaze up to the sky as well if you can. Try to stay lifted through the underside of your waist. Pressing down through all four corners of your feet. Let's take one more inhale. Then exhale, hands return to the mat and step back into your chaturanga upward facing dog inhale broaden through your collarbones press back to down dog exhale let's take one nice calming breath in you deserve it and calming breath out then look up in between your hands and carefully hop or tiptoe your feet to the front of the mat halfway lift inhale fold exhale Roll up to standing, reach your arms up, inhale, exhale, hands come to prayer. Chair pose, inhale, bend your knees, sit your hips low, exhale, really melt into your legs. Draw your belly button in, nice strong core. Then on your exhale, swing your arms back, lift your heels. Inhale, lower your heels, reach your arms by your ears. And again. Exhale as you reach your arms back. Inhale as you reach them forward, as you lift your heels and lower. Using all of your strength and control here. Last one. Hold your heels lifted, reach your arms by your ears, 
Really draw your navel in and take little pulses down and down. This is a test for your balance. Really squeeze your thighs together to help you. Just five more. Four, you've got it. Three, two, and a one, well done. Carefully lower your hips down to your heels and then come down onto your glutes. Lower down onto your forearms now, really open through your chest and lift your legs to a tabletop position. Slightly tuck your pelvis under and drop your ribs down to your hips. Exhale, extend your right leg, inhale, bend. Exhale, extend your left leg, inhale, bend. Then exhale, extend both legs and inhale, bend. Keep going. So one leg at a time first and then extend both legs out. We do this three more times. Make sure that you only lower your legs as low as you can without arching your spine. So really focus on that rib to hip connection. Just one more. Beautiful job. Extend your legs out to the diagonal again. This time, exhale, drop your right leg, inhale, lift. Exhale, drop your left leg, inhale, lift. Keep going. Just seven more. This is a really good challenge for our lower abs. Five more. And four, stay lifted through your chest for me. Two more. And last one. Now time for some little scissors. You switch and switch. Maybe lowering your legs down a little bit further if you can. You've got it, keep going. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one excellent job bend your knees in and press yourself up cross your legs and return into your plank take a nice inhale to prepare exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog nice breath in exhale downward facing dog look up in between your hands carefully hop or tiptoe your feet forward Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Roll up to standing, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands come down to prayer. Let's repeat that again. So bend your knees, chair pose, inhale, fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, step back into your strong plank. Hold on your inhale. Then exhale, press back to down dog. Straight away, lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands. Lift up into crescent pose, inhale. Open to warrior two, exhale. Then straighten your right leg and bring your hands behind your head. For your favorite, I know. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, draw right elbow to right knee. Inhale, center. And exhale, straighten your leg. Four more. Maybe you can crunch a little bit further this time. Two more. And last one, you can do it. Well done, re-bend your right knee, crunch halfway and reach your arms by your ears. Little surprise, this time lift your right heel and lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Three more, really lengthening through the side of your body. Last one, let's hold our heel lifted and finish with pulses down and down. Just eight more. Seven, you're so strong. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your heel, keep your knee bent. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, melt deeper into your knee. Then inhale, straighten your leg, reverse triangle. 
exhale come up inhale reach forward and exhale release into your triangle pose this should feel like a nice little breather so just enjoy it then take one more deep inhale then exhale bring your left hand down to the mat pivot your back heel up and reach your right arm up to the sky coming into a twist from here shift your weight onto your left hand and onto the outside edge of your left foot lift your right knee up and over placing your right foot behind you coming into your wild thing reaching your right arm over by your ear then carefully lower your hips down to the floor inhale lift back up wild thing exhale carefully lower back down let's do that a few more times inhale as you lift up lifting those hips up exhale as you lower and last one maybe open through your heart a little bit more then turn your chest down to the mat return to your plank pose and exhale chaturanga upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale let's take a quick breather before we get into the other side so nice deep inhale and exhale then lift your left leg up to the sky inhale exhale step your left foot forward in between your hands lift up into crescent pose inhale open to warrior two exhale straighten your front leg bring your hands behind your head inhale bend your knee exhale crunch inhale center exhale straighten your leg keep going really try to bring your left elbow to your left knee using the strength of your core here you should also be feeling a nice burn in your legs i know i was okay let's bend our left knee crunch halfway and reach your arms by your ears inhale lift your left heel exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower three more then we finish with those pulses okay hold your heel lifted and pulse down and down just eight more seven six five you've got it four three two one lower your heel inhale reverse warrior exhale as you melt a little deeper into this pose then inhale straighten your front leg exhale come up inhale reach forward and exhale release into your triangle pose really reach through your fingertips gazing up to the sky take one more deep inhale then exhale bring your right hand down to the mat pivot your right heel up and inhale reach your left arm up to the sky finding your beautiful twist then from here carefully shift your weight into your right hand and the outside edge of your right foot lifting your left leg up and over to place the foot behind you for a wild thing open through your heart center and exhale lower your hips down to the floor let's flow through this a few more times inhale lift up wild thing exhale lower your hips down maybe opening through your chest a little bit more each time last one inhale lift up really lift your hips up nice and high then return your left hand to the mat and step into your plank inhale to prepare exhale chaturanga upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale well done take a nice calming breath in and calming breath out then look up in between your hands carefully hop or tiptoe your feet forward halfway lift inhale lengthen your spine 
fold, exhale. Roll up to standing, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands come down to prayer. Last chair pose of class, inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms by your ears, really sit your hips low. Then exhale, sweep your arms back, lift your heels. Inhale, lower your heels, reach your arms by your ears. Four more. Really squeeze your thighs together to help you and really lift up through your belly button. Two more. And last one, hold your heels lifted, reach your arms by your ears and let's finish with pulses. You pulse down and down. This is a serious test for your balance, but you can do it. Just four more, three, two, and one. Excellent job, lower your hips down to your heels and carefully lower onto your glutes. Let's return to our forearms and lift your legs back to your tabletop position. This time, inhale, drop your legs over to the right. Exhale, return them up through center. Inhale, drop to the left. Exhale, center. Keep going. Keeping your chest nice and square as you drop your legs over to the side. Stay with this or inhale, bend your knees, extend, bend, and exhale, return through center. So just adding that leg extension to give you a nice little challenge, but you pick your option. Keep your knees stacked over your hips as you draw them back through center. Let's do one more. Well done. Now you can stay with this or extend your legs up to the sky and turn your toes out. Inhale, drop your legs over to the right, sweep them around to the left and back up. And again, inhale over to the right, exhale back up to the left. Three more in this direction, and then we'll reverse it. Two more. And last one, nice big circle. And now let's reverse. Inhale, drop to the left, sweep it over to the right, and back up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift them back up. Three more. Really squeeze your heels together. And last one. Excellent job. Bend your knees, press yourself up. And let's come onto our hands and lift our hips up into our reverse tabletop. Squeeze your glutes, open through your chest and let your head fall back if that feels good for you. One more deep inhale and exhale, lower your hips down to the floor. Let's do a bit of glute work now. So come down onto your right forearm, making sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder and bend your knees, finding your clam position. Either keep your hips on the floor or lift your hips up and take your hand behind your head. Open your left knee to start. Then exhale, close your knee and turn your chest down to the floor. Inhale, open your knee, open your chest. So everything closes on your exhale, everything opens on your inhale. Keeping your toes together as you open your knee out nice and wide. Last one. And now let's add on. Exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, extend your left leg out and inhale, bring your toes back together. Keep going. So just adding that extension of your left leg to really get the side of our glutes fired up. This is super challenging. So if you need to lower your hips down to the floor, please do. Just one more, you can do it. Hold your leg extended out, reach your top arm by your ear, then inhale, lower your hips down with control. Exhale, press up. 
inhale lower keeping your left leg lifted exhale lift up this is a really good challenge for our core, our glutes, and our upper body. Okay, last one. Let's hold at the top and you know it. Lift your leg 10 times. Nine, eight, seven. Keep breathing. Six, five. You've got it. Four, three, two, and a one. Woo! Good job. Press yourself up and let's sweep our left leg across, coming into a nice stretch. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist over to your left. You should feel a nice little release for your left glute as well. Then return through center and let's switch sides. So come down onto your left forearm, make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder, bend your knees and either keep your hips on the floor or lift them up. Take your right hand behind your head with your elbow wide and open your right knee. Exhale, close everything down and inhale, open everything out. Exhale, close, inhale, open. Keeping your toes together as you open your right knee wide, making sure your hips are staying stacked on top of one another. And now let's add on. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend your right leg. Inhale, tap your toes. Keep going. Just adding that leg extension out with your right leg making sure it's in line with your hip or even slightly higher. You can do it. Stay lifted through the side of your waist. Last one. Hold your leg extended, reach your top arm over, then inhale, lower your hips down. Exhale, lift them back up. Keep going, inhale lower, keeping that top leg lifted. Exhale, lift. You're almost there. And last one, hold everything lifted and pulse your leg up and up. Eight more, seven, just breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and a one. So good. Rest back down, press yourself up and cross your right leg over your left. Sitting up tall, inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist over to your right. Carefully unwind and guess what guys, we only have one more exercise left of class. Let's come into a child's pose first just to catch our breath and release any tension through our lower back. And then shift your weight forward, coming into your push-up position. So make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and shift your hips forward, finding a nice flat back. Inhale, bend your elbows, tricep push-up. Exhale, press up. Then inhale, press back to child's pose and exhale, shift forward to your push-up position. This time, two push-ups. Inhale, bend, exhale, press, then press back to child's pose and shift forward. Three push-ups, you've got it. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. One more and release to child's pose. Okay, last time we do this, four push-ups. Here we go, inhale, bend, exhale, press. Inhale, bend, exhale, press, two more, and last one. Well done, lower yourself all the way down to your belly. You did so well. Interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders back, and inhale, lift your chest. Feeling a really nice release through your shoulders. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, release back down. Taking your head onto your hands for a quick little siesta if you like. 
rock your hips side to side and then either repeat that again or if you'd like bend your knees and reach back for the outsides of your ankles flex your feet and on your inhale roll your shoulders back and lift your chest press your feet into your hands and then lift your feet up towards the sky pointing your toes take nice deep breaths here as you feel a beautiful opening through your back body one more inhale then exhale release back down place your hands underneath your shoulders lift yourself up and back into downward facing dog look up in between your hands and carefully step or hop into a seated position roll yourself down vertebra by vertebra onto your back and hug your knees in let's take happy baby so hold on to the outsides of your feet and draw your knees down towards your underarms feeling a really nice release for your glutes and for your hips close your eyes if that feels good for you then release your legs cross your right knee over your left drop your legs to the left as you look over your right shoulder really enjoying this well-deserved stretch then return through center and switch legs cross your left knee over your right drop your legs to the right and look over your left shoulder Then return through center and let's come into our final resting pose shavasana let your legs fall open rest your arms down by your side with your palms facing up to the sky close your eyes and bring your awareness into your breath relax your forehead your eyes your jaw your shoulders and your hips relax your glutes and feel your knees and your calves and your feet melt further down into the ground May we take this moment of relaxation and stillness to think of three things that you are grateful for today. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need to, or if you're ready to finish your practice, gently wiggle your toes and your fingers stretch your arms over by your ears and roll to one side carefully prop yourself up finding a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat sitting up nice and tall let's finish class today with one last big inhale reach your arms up and exhale lower your hands down to prayer Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's yoga workout. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again, and have the most beautiful day.